Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I want to quickly talk about that very small data download we got on Global earlier in the day. And as many of you guys have probably guessed, it is related to part 2 of the 5 year anniversary celebration. Which by the way, is starting on July 19th at 5pm Pacific Daylight Time or 8pm. Eastern Standard Time, which is the time that, you know, day change happens and new news comes out and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're about two days away from the start of part two. I mean, more like two and a half days, really. But I guess that depends on when you're watching this video. So let's just say it's soon. All right. Part two is starting very, very soon. And uh, of course, all the assets from this data download are related to the new stuff that we're getting for part two, the new units new events, all that good stuff. All right, so we're on DBZ Space right now, and the new units that are scheduled here are this Int Kid Broly Awakening that awakens from this Kid Broly right here, and it becomes this Kid Broly and... I mean, it's Kid Broly and Ba, really. Ba's both in the picture as well as in the super attack, but for some reason, not in the name. I feel like it's very disrespectful, but you know what? That's life, right? So... There's the Kid Broly Awakening, and then we also have the Int Vegeta and Raditz, or Kid Vegeta and Raditz right here. That token awakens from this Kid Vegeta. And then we finally have the next Free-to-Play LR on Global, the STR LR. I mean, Goku Black, but Zamasu Bracket Goku is the official name, which is awesome, actually, because we can run him on the same team as other Goku Blacks, right? And of course, he Hidoken Awakens from this Zamasu right here. So that's DBZ Space. Once again, they're all coming out at July or on July 19th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. If you guys have a different time zone, just go on Google and do the conversion. But we're about two days, two and a half days away from the time this video comes out. And popping over to the Twitter page of my boy Proton10MG, who always posts the assets from data downloads very, very efficiently. So huge shout out to him. And uh, as you can see, he posted all the assets from this data download as well. Now there's not a lot here because it wasn't a very big data download. I think in total, it was like 37 megabytes maybe, something like that. But either way, we'll, we'll take a look here. So we got the Goku Black asset, of course. We got the Kid Vegeta and Raditz. We got the Kid Broly. And Ba, you know, I'm, I'm just going to start calling this card Kid Broly and Ba, because I feel like Ba deserves the mention, you know? So there's that. We also have the Extreme Z Awakening medals, or Extreme Z Area medals. Actually, you know what? Extreme Z Awakening works, right? But Extreme Z Area, because they are an Extreme Z Area character, right? Their event to Extreme Z Awaken is Extreme Z Area, not Extreme Z Battle. Gotta be specific about that. Kinda sucks. Obviously, we, we would prefer a new Extreme Z battle, but they don't really do Extreme Z battles for free-to-play units most of the time. So, uh, anyways, yeah, so that's the medal for, or, or the rainbow medal for Broly and Ba. And then there's the gold medal for Broly and Ba. And then we got the silver, we got the bronze, and then we also got the Kid, Vegeta, and Raditz medals. So, uh, rainbow, gold, silver, and bronze. And then we have the new movie for part two as well, the, the teaser or the hype up trailer. And uh, once again, like I said in the previous video, if you guys don't want to see it right right now in this video, we want to wait until the actual you know, part two celebration begins to see it for the first time, then feel free to skip ahead maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds maybe, and you'll be good to go. Actually, you know what, 25 seconds, but I might talk a bit, so just skip ahead like 35 seconds to be safe. Okay, so let me turn off my own music here and uh, we will play this little trailer. So for anybody that wants to see it, enjoy.
So there you go. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but not a bad teaser by any means. And uh, it does get me, you know, moderately excited for part two. Now, obviously, part two is not nearly as hype as part one was. And um, I mean, it's really impossible for them to get back to that level of hype just because there's no blue fusions. But they did tease the LR Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemma, which of course is coming later in the month. Oh, by the way. You guys might have noticed that the um, Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo are obviously not here, and the Int LR Rose is also not here, and that's because they weren't actually part of this data download. But that's not really a surprise because they're not coming until I believe July 27th or so. Like their dual LR banner is not dropping for at least another week and a half from now, so. That's why they're not part of this data download. We will definitely get another data an, another data download before their banners drop. So definitely stay tuned for that. But uh, for now, yeah, that's all we got. These three characters and uh, also, of course, some translations for the new stages for their story events. So for the um, three Saiyans driven by fate event, there's going to be two new stages. And then for the Zero Mortals event with the Zamasu, there's going to be three new stages. And of course, the stages come with the medals needed to Doken Awaken them. And uh, also, of course, the new Extreme Z area event to Extreme Z Awaken the Kid Broly and Kid Vegeta and Raditz. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Now, before we go, I will do a quick overview for anybody that, you know, doesn't know of uh, the details for the LR... Uh, Goku Black as well as the Kid Vegeta and Raditz and Kid Broly. Now I know I've gone through this a couple times before so if you guys have seen those videos feel free to just leave now if you want to but for anybody that you know, isn't aware then keep watching. Okay so for the uh, LR Goku Black, I almost called him Kid Goku Black, but the LR Goku Black is leader skill after Dokkan Awakening but before Extreme Z Awakening. Now I'm not gonna say Extreme Z Awakening details right now because uh, that's coming for part 3. We can't Extreme Z Awaken him until part 3 comes around. So uh, for his leader skill after the Oaken Awakening from the STR Zamasu, it's going to be Time Travelers, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, super attack 12 key, causes colossal damage and lowers defense, and the 18 key raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 50%, key plus 1 with each attack received, up to 5, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing 2 or more enemies, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, with each final blow delivered up to 50%, and final blow of course means that he's the one to kill the enemy. And his links are Godly Power, Cold Judgment, Nightmare, Dismal Future, Fear and Faith, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. Now, as far as his additional attack and defense plus 20% goes, it is calculated separately, meaning that once he defeats three enemies, he gets a total boost of attack and defense plus 152.81%, which is pretty freaking sweet. All right, actually, I don't know if that's related to... I think that's for the Extreme Z Awakened details. I th yeah, I think that's for Extreme Z Awakened form. All right, so ignore that for now. <laughs> Ignore for that that for now. Um, you know what? I will go over the passive and the, all that stuff for Extreme Z Awakening Slate 2 just because I'm sure people are curious. So post Extreme Z Awakening, once again, this is after part three comes. I already can't do this for part two yet. Uh, it's gonna be Time Traveler, Ski plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack 12 key, colossal damage, lowers attack and defense. And then for the 18 key, it raises attack and defense for one turn. It causes mega colossal damage. Passive is going to be attack and defense plus 59%, key plus 1 with each attack received up to 6, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing 2 or more enemies, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered up to 59%, so before it was up to 50% and also up to 5 key only, and also attack and defense plus 50% versus 59%, so not huge changes, but they do make a difference for a unit with stats like he has, right? So uh, that is the Extreme Z Awakened LR Goku Black. Once again, you can't do this until part three, okay? Now, moving on to the Kid Broly and, or sorry, Kid uh, Vegeta and Raditz. 
Post Extreme Z Awakening, they are a joined forces category leader. Key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%. Or Extreme Class, Key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. Super Attack raises attack and causes supreme damage and lowers attack or lowers enemies' attack. And then Passive Skill is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional key plus 1. Attack and defense plus 20% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10%. Her Pure Saiyan's category ally, self-excluded, attacking in the same turn, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of coming a super attack when there is another joined forces category ally. Attacking in the same turn, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Reason's Army, Brutal Beatdown, Thirst for Conquest, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. So that's Kid, Vegeta, and Raditz. And then for Kid Broly here, Kid Broly and Ba, Kid Broly and Ba, Leader skill is Pure Saiyan's category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%, or in types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack is Wild Bite, raises attack and defense, attack and defense, causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 70%, disables enemy's guard, medium chance of evading enemy's attack including super attack, and then delivers the final blow to recover 20% HP at the end of the turn. So if he kills the enemy, then you recover 20% when the turn is over, which is pretty sweet. I mean, I guess, I guess the turn would be over anyways if you kill the enemy, right? Unless there's multiple enemies. Okay, anyways, deliver the final blow, and then you'll recover 20% HP, which is a huge, huge heal, right? That's, that's, that's one-fifth of your HP right there. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Innocence, Prodigies, uh, tough as nails, prepare for battle, and shattering the limit. And uh, that's it for the Kid Broly as well. Now, reminder that both of these Kid units, Kid Saiyan units, um, have farmable orbs. So they are rainbowed, or you can rainbow them for free, which is pretty freaking sweet. And uh, of course, they both get Extreme Z Awakenings. We just went through the Extreme Z Awakening details through the new Extreme Z area. And that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. That's all I wanted to cover. That's all I wanted to say. I uh, hope you guys are excited for part two. It is going to be a little bare, I would say, compared to part one. But there's still some good stuff coming. If you guys want a full breakdown of everything we can expect, including the upcoming uh, double LR banner, the details for the LRs, as well as some extra stuff, uh, make sure to go check out my video covering everything that's coming for part two of the five year anniversary all right but for the time being that's all i gotta say that is today's video thank you guys so much for watching and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.